Hi, these are reviews from Mob.org, and as always, this is Jay. Let's go! Today I have a six-pack of novelties which you can play this week, so I direct your attention to a mousy puzzler called Trip Trap. A 3D actioner, boom, tanks! The medievally strategic Clash of Lords. A colorful puzzler, God of Light. An arcade strategy, Pirates of Everseas. And a logic puzzle, Safe Cracker. So let's start off at the top of the list. You think that mobile puzzles have sputtered out and nothing can surprise you anymore? Oh, come on! Do you really think about it that much? Well, if the thought of such matters keeps you awake at night, I have just the game for you! Trip Trap! A game about an itty-bitty mouse that has to rush and grab the cheese while avoiding deadly traps and prowling cats. Did you know that mice don't actually love cheese? Lies! Lies everywhere! Lies! The difficulty of the game is that our mouse-eared hero runs and can't stop. You can only jump to avoid obstacles and quickly plan out your escape plan on your way, all while traps of different kinds will block your way. Trip Trap is really a breath of fresh air in a… Hey! Who cut the cheese? The next one up is 3D actioner Boom Tanks! If you thought this was merely a clone of World of Tanks, then you would be mistaken. Instead, the developers decided to make a version of Mortal Kombat, but with tanks just for the heck of it. Tank versus tank and one-on-one -on -one fight to the death combat. But to be more exact, it's not really fighting, it's more like a shooting gallery. You won't be able to drive freely around at your leisure. All you can really do is just watch and shoot at the right time. Only one should still be running in the end, while the other tank is a molten pile of scrap metal. But basically, it gets boring pretty quickly. There are a lot of locations, and the graphics are very good. You have probably heard something about a strategy game called Clash of Lords, for sure. Well, in this game, reminiscent of the original Warcraft games, the donation aspect here is not so pervasive, so you can relax. In the world of Clash of Lords, your goal is to build the kingdom of your dreams from scratch, gather treasures and resources, attack the castles of other players, and approve to everybody your right to rule the land with your unmatched might. But others can do the same thing too, so you are not exactly the center of the universe here but you can join a guild and take all property of your rival in glorious battle. In the casual puzzle game God of Light, I'm sure you've already figured out from the title alone that we'll be controlling the God of Light. In it, we'll be controlling a little blue sun-looking dude that can shoot out a beam of light that needs to be reflected and refracted around to light up things. The concept is as ancient as petrified mammoth poo, but there wasn't such a puzzle on Android as of yet. Be that light in the darkness and use mirrors and crystals to reflect your divine light around the various obstacles in your way. Let there be light! The Strategic Pirates of Everseas At first sight, looks like a typical city simulator. But when you look closer, it becomes obvious that it entirely consists of anime pirates. Eh, anime pirates just doesn't sound that cool. But don't fret, my dear gamer. The game is actually worth spending time playing, because you can construct a huge pirate harbor, a massive sea empire, or practically your own independent state there. Hmm, what to call it? Arkansas? Arizona? Well, it might not look that impressive. Still, you can do it. Plan your strategy, attack islands and rival ships, battle sea monsters and explore forgotten places and shipwrecks to receive additional trophies and treasures, and simply enjoy the game process. Arr, arr, arr. Yeah, you get the idea. And finally, I want to tell you about a remarkable puzzler with a remarkable idea, a remarkable realization of this idea, and with a remarkable soundtrack. That's what makes Safe Cracker wonderful. Ha! Bet you thought I was going to say remarkable again, huh? Gotcha! We start out as a sexy redheaded robber complete with a mask and ponytail and break into safes by means of a tiny lock-picking nanobot. We rotate the mechanism gear wheels by tapping on two sides of the screen and help the nanobot to get around in the lock. In order to collect three stars located in the lock, you have to carefully manage your time and rotating skills to get that safe open. It can appear to be simple at first, but in practice, you'll see that your hands are not quite as compliant as you might think. I recommend this one for sure. You won't waste your time, or you will depending on your skill level. So that's all! Download, like, follow our channel, and join the group! This was Jay with reviews from Mob.org. See you!